What is this? Nineen manual. Look what we found. This is the secret room on the cliff where Monk Liaoji cultivated and ascended to immortality. Located on the cliff behind Lu Yuan Temple. That's where we want to go. It is said that there are long lost martial arts secrets in the secret room. Over the past 300 years, there have been many people who have wanted to enter this place. However, due to the dangerous terrain, it ended up being fruitless. It is said that 10 years ago, an unknown Taoist went up to Zhao Xian Cave. Fly with ease and walk over the wall to enter the secret room. Never came out again. Where does the secret room lead? Are there ancient classics in Yado? We were invited to use our safety gear to go inside. Unexpectedly found the 19 scriptures and magical artifacts all over the ground. Aim the palm of your hand at the Eight of Life. Do you see it? That was your first one. It is said that in the Ming Dynasty, this is a chance monk. It was in this Zhao Xian cave, halfway up the cliff, that I attained enlightenment and became an immortal. What is the path we are taking now? That was the lucky monk back then. The only way up the mountain. You can see it's on top of the mountain. Stone steps made with a chisel. That mountain is so steep. The mountain is extremely steep. That negative angle? We found a city wall. We'll descend from there later and take a look. But the strange thing is, there are no steps or planks around this city wall. I don't know what happened to the monk. Is it really possible to fly over the walls? You see it's right above our heads. I can't do it. On this rock wall, I found two very narrow steps. This step. It should have been chiseled out during the Ming Dynasty. You can see that this step only has two steps. There is no more here. But at this 30 meter altitude, we found traces of the stone wall. The steps were not dug up. How were the stone walls above built? It's incredible. It is said that he used magic to move objects through the air at that time. Don't you understand? Come on and see what I find. There is a thousand tails of gold here. Wow, when did you get a new phone? Looks quite expensive. Not expensive. This is a second-hand iPhone 13 that I am repurchasing. More than 2,000 cheaper than a new phone. Not only is this mobile phone cheap, second-hand cameras are also very cost-effective. The Canon 600D I bought was only 1,800. More than 3,000 cheaper than a new machine. Easy to use. Especially suitable for novices. Recently, many people are using Xuanzuan. Yes, Xuanzuan is a professional second-hand platform. The after service is also very reliable. You can try it out for seven days after buying it. If not satisfied, return directly. The shot above is also good. Sincerely recommend. Buy second-hand from famous brands and get better. We also found it here. There are traces of this stone step. This is also a halfway cliff plank road. Let's continue going out. This road is not easy to walk. I see that the ladder also goes from here. There are traces of crawling there. I'm going to start climbing over the walls. Be careful. We took out the safety rope and laid it out. The main focus is a safe operation. Look, this rock wall is so steep. But we deployed this safety rope. Let's come up safely from here. There are actually handrails like this along the road. It's just that it's not true anymore. A Buddhist niche was found here. Is there a Buddhist niche? Round square hole. Look. Many. That feeling of Buddhism. Very beautiful. Give me a light. Um. Tailor made for you. There are more above this. This is an eight petaled lotus flower. Lotus crown. So exquisite. So beautifully done. It's really beautiful. So perfect. This stone chamber is a Buddhist niche for meditation. What is that over there? Also a Buddhist niche. You have something to say. Where is it written? Shinji Zone what? Shinji Zone is here. Shinji Zone visited here. That's probably what it means. Continue up. Brothers. There is a larger Buddhist niche above. There's also a cow's nose in it. Brothers. A Buddhist niche was found here. Look. There is a small Buddhist niche one meter square. My teammates. They found a group of Buddhist niches in front. For example, what we saw in the drone. The main entrance of Zhao Xian Cave. Fortunately, I have safety equipment. It would be very scary to come here without safety equipment. Now all our teammates are here. What's this? There are many things in here. Come and see. There are also scriptures. What is this? Nineen manual. 
ancient secret techniques, and head lowering techniques. Head lowering technique. The Joey manual was discovered here in the technique of lowering the head. Brothers this. Look quickly. I go. It's really the nine scriptures. What else? And the nine scriptures. Haha, ha, everyone has one. The second part of the nine manual. This is what was written. First. I want to open it and take a look. Nine manual. Nine manual. Oh my god, look. There are real martial arts secrets. Have you seen the whole episode? There really is such a thing. Aim the palm of your hand at the gate of life. You got the first one. Take a look. Look. Left hand palm. Part 2. Does this have words? No words either. There are no words inside part here. Look at the back. There are behind. There is something behind. There is something behind. Open like this. Feeling green. Close after time. Open the above two points. Coming, coming, coming. Do you see it? Nine manual. Have you seen the fifth level? Fifth level. Gas collection is not here. Gathering chi, but not chi. Mouth closed, eyes open. The secret lies in the eyes. Shinchi stem, top gathering. There are still people practicing exercises here. This is really awesome. Saw this. It's been a while. This is a serious ancient book, right? Let's see what else we find inside. Come on, let's put it back where it belongs. Found here. There is this Buddhist domain. Inside the first Buddhist niche. Xiang Yang discovered something here. There is the Nine scripture. What is it? You said he is a monk. Is there a cassock? Double bull. What is this for? It's all the stuff inside. Bagua picture. Put Bagua in the Buddhist niche. Does the dove occupy the magpie's nest? Yes, this is Taoist. Taoist. Taoist culture. Yes, Jiuin Jinjing. That a sect again? There are beads here. What's this? There are a lot of weird things here. Something modern. Look, here are the tissues. Did you see? Taoist thought double cultivation. Buddhist philosophy of practicing dual cultivation. There's also that pen holder over here. Yeah, pen holder. There is also a military coat here. What is that? Is that a mobile phone? What is this? Shaver. Next to the white hair. Shaver. This is a whisk. I only see a little bit of white hair here. Come and take a look. This gives people a rash. People with rash. This should be a practitioner who came here to practice. What's this? Ghost money? This shouldn't be true. This is a fake imitation. There are so many bedbugs in this place. Nine flavored insect. The nine scented insect is edible. Can it be eaten? Eat it and show it to me. I found this rosary here. Rosary beads and whisk. This should have been left here by some Taoist master. This should be the rosary of Xiaoya Rosewood. There's also a sword. There is also a sword here. What sword? Where's the sword? Big sword. Small sword. Where's the little sword? Big sword. It's really a Taoist thing. Here is the seven star sword. Seven star sword? I'll kill you. Five or six hundred years. Five or six hundred years ago. The one who ascended here. What's the name of the machine monk? You're a monk, right? He is a monk. Right. But the person who comes to practice now should be A. Here is a red envelope. There's this one here too. A palace. Look what's written on this. Look at this eight petaled lotus flower. Take a look. Who? Who Guanju in? Phoenix Palace View. Golden Palace Golden Gate. Golden Gate Pear. The light is too bright. Yeah, understand it a little better. What is this? Uigong Ancient, Ancient Peak. Ancient Peak Inscriptions. There are a lot of this text engraved here. Such information. Come in from here. What about after coming in? 
On the left and right are two unformed Buddhist niches. Talk inside. There was a big echo. There is a pool of water on the ground. This water is not very clean. Because there is a lot of silt and sand on the ground. The Buddhist niche here has been taken shape. And this volume is relatively large. Inside. There is water here. This is where the water comes from. Unimaginable. Above this 100 meter altitude, such a Buddhist niche, there are still traces of water flowing inside. It's really, really strange. It's possible. Who built this shrine? This water vapor above. Condense inside. Finally, it flows down this stone wall. Such a small flow of water is formed. They call it divine water. There are lotus flowers on this one too. The top of the treasure is an eight-petal lotus flower. Eight petals lotus. You can find out more. I won't give too much introduction here. At this time, we decided to go online from here, mid-air on this cliff, when we used drones to take aerial photography. Found a mysterious stone wall. Have you heard the story of borrowing wood and bringing it back to life? This should be his wife. The legend of ancient witchcraft. It exists in the mountains at the junction of Hunan and Hubei. It is said that the bandit Lu Hanqing was obsessed with this sorcery to extend his life. When we visit, finally found the Munjak village from a hundred years ago. When we arrived at this half-cliff ancient village using ropes, the seven-star saltpeter pit from that year was discovered inside. An ancient riverbed rose hundreds of meters out of thin air. There is a piece of jade here. After more than two hours of hard work, we are finally here. On top of the cliff, next to the Qingjiang River. Where is this Munjak village that the old man mentioned? Just below this cliff on my finger. It's in the middle of a cliff. It is said that this Munjak village, it's the Lu Hanshin from before. A place where you can practice immortality inside. Not sure whether it is true. Next, the Dog family follows our camera. Let's go down and find out. No wonder this Lu Hanshin, towards destruction. You see, he hasn't even done a good job yet. He also brought more than 100 younger brothers with him. Can't walk at all. Let's repel all the way down from this position. I found another stronger tree here. It's a cliff down here. Make a natural anchor point at this location. And then continue to decline. The road conditions are really not that good. The reason why Lu Hanqing's village collapsed at that time. That is because the transportation is inconvenient. If you want to get rich, build roads first. He doesn't even understand this simple truth. A safety station was built at this location. You can see it below. It's a cliff path. There are usually a lot of wild animals walking around here. Many people have never seen the feces of a muntjac. This is it. You could say muntjac. It is the only one in nature. Not taking advantage of the safety equipment. Wild animals flying over the walls. Come down from this. Now this last one. 50 meters is used up. Now I use 4 millimeters. There are these little steps here. People in the past had no protection measures. Walk over like this. Still very thrilling. But we have done a good job of safety protection. Very safe. This chisel is only three fingers wide. Small steps dug out. This is what I saw on the plane. Civil structure city wall. I don't see many circles under that one. There are signs of stone collapse here. Here are some more interesting things. This is the legendary alchemy furnace. But I feel... It feels like there was no fire inside. It is said that the mine was dug here. Is it supposed to be a mercury mine or something? Above is the earth wall. The size of the cave is not very large. There are steps to go up here. But the very strange thing is, in this cliff, we found this pebble. Round and autumn pebbles. And sedimentary soil. It is also the legendary Wuhua soil. Like a layer of rammed earth. Come on, I saw the Bodhisattva. This should be the human puppet they are talking about. These are two, right? Really lifelike. They are about the same age as the people we have today. But it is Zongmu. Both are vertical eyes. Judging from the signs of decay on this wood. It must have been more than 100 years ago. It coincides with the time of this old man's legend. It is said at Luhanshan. At that time, he mastered witchcraft. He is planning to use this puppet to revive the soul through wood. Now this puppet is riddled with insects. It is clear. His attempt to resurrect the soul at that time was unsuccessful. Because Lu Hanqing is a relatively arrogant local bandit. A lot of people's fat and people's ointment have been scraped off. Finally, he hopes to live forever. Hire an expert locally. I built this to compare with him. One of equal height and equal weight. 
human puppet. It should be carved based on Lu Han's original appearance. Ancient. They all have thick eyebrows and big eyes. Eyes are very big. Zongmu includes this person. The ravines are very deep. But in terms of the details, it's been so infested that I can't see clearly. It is said that above this, when the old man came in, I saw the meridian diagram drawn above. This means that every place needs acupuncture. That's really amazing. This should be his wife. It's like this. There seems to be a trace. What is that? People with rash. It's very big. The height is about 40 centimeters. The left and right width is more than 20 centimeters. This one also has armor. Armor pattern. There is a secret passage here to enter. I wonder if there are more of this figurine inside. Let's go in and take a look. There are several possibilities for this secret passage. The first is where Lu Hanqing hid his treasure. The second is that he is inside. Where to dig those ores? It's over. Not deep anymore. There is also yellow sand here. Did you see it? Did you say it would be true? Before. We are now on top of a cliff a hundred meters high. They were all flooded. There is another strange stone here. Yu Xiangyang was found here. What jade? Jade, there is a piece of jade here. Feels like white marble. There are grass and flowers on it. This needs to be cut into slices and then polished. It is a very good landscape stone. More than 200 kilograms. Whoever wants to move out? There are one or two. Three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh one is outside. There's also a stone wall fort on top of that one. I don't know what's hidden behind it. Very slippery. There is a tunnel above. Xiangyang. It feels quite deep. Nothing at all. There's an eagle's nest here. Show it to everyone. This shooting port is interesting. I'm going to stick out my selfie stick now. Show it to everyone. Right. See the rope without us is there. Can you see the rope? Lying here, all I need is a firecracker. It can be said that one man is in charge and 10,000 men cannot open it. Just hide in this location. This terrain. This is one of its trenches. A good place that cannot be opened by one man. Is this scenery nice? Everyone, take a screenshot. Go back and adjust the color yourself. Below this is the Qingjiang River. Opposite is Jingwoping. This is the feces of red and white rats. Also called Wulingzi. This is Chinese medicine. Then we entered the stone wall fortress. Take a look at the tunnel inside the second floor. This one is also made of cobblestones. It's almost as high as the waist. It's also possible that this trench was made. Shooting stand. Then look here again. This is where people sit. There is a deep cave inside. Let's go take a look inside the cave now. Is this a latrine or something? Or was there a bed board on it? Don't quite understand. But this. This ceiling is very distinctive. Very distinctive ceiling. Gorges and ravines. Typical water-soluble traces. There is a cave here. This cave has light and faces the sun. There is a window here. A bit peculiar. We'll go back to that window later. Let's go deeper into this cave and take a look. What is this? There is also a stalactite here on the stove. This is where they made the fire and cooked the food. Inside. 
The tunnel is starting to become flatter. Continue to go deeper. There is water here. Water deposited on the cave wall. The water seems quite clean. This is the only source of water in the cave. I'm so thirsty now that I can't stand it. But there's luminous sand down here. I don't dare to drink this either. What to do? Please give me your opinion. There are dried stone flags in this one. All wasted. This should be after removing the soil inside. Used to boil saltpeter. Or mining. Continue to go deeper. Is this his bed? There is a step up. Go up like this. It doesn't seem as deep inside. Let's climb up and have a look. Not very easy to climb. The tunnel becomes very narrow here. Just over 50 centimeters tall. Everyone asked if we should go in and take a look. Nice to hear from you. Let's go in and take a look. Oops, it's hard to drill. Along the way, I saw some bone fragments. There are also bamboos placed here by previous people. The cave became wider. Another village with hidden flowers and bright willows. Then there are these blood red traces on this rock wall. Inside this cave, it should be Lu Hanching's own dormitory. The pattern on the stone wall looks like the meridians. This should be the deepest part of this Munjak village. No more tunnels. There are steps here. Let's go ahead and take a look. As long as there is a hole, we will keep moving forward. There are traces of smoke in here. Indeed, this is the deepest part of the cave. You can't get in here. They developed this cave only to this point. Let me show you the blind hole. It can't be said to be a blind hole. Just can't get in. We came in through the tunnel here. Now let's take a look at the tunnel here. It should be all over here. This is a nest. What's it called there? Call this. It's made of wood. Then step on it here. Let it rest in the middle. Put it aside and do this and this. Here again. Another feeling. So impressive so far. Lu Hanching's Munjak village has been fully explored. It is indeed inside. Found the humanoid puppet that the old man said was borrowed from wood and brought back to life. Also found. Wuo stone bed. Wells and these relics. It means the old man didn't lie. Then. Lu Hanching has indeed done such ridiculous things. Okay, my video for this issue. Just took the photo here. See you in our next video. Thank you all for watching and bye.